Oh, I didn't catch your message earlier. I do apologize, Captain. Uh, energy shields have 200 HP and 50 armor. Do they restore that? Or is that, that's it? Is it, is that like whenever the energy shield, what, I, hang on. Okay, it's paused, it's fine. So, what I was gonna ask is, uh, the regular shield is a physical item. If it takes damage on one turn, that damage persists to the next. Oh, that is per mission, so okay. Thank you very much for that. All right, airborne hostile detected. Well, I guess this is, you know, this is like, yeah, we've got an armed manticore. What were we expecting? A Charon, 500 health. The Gift, 750. Whatever that is, 150, 99 off. Whatever that is, 150, 99 off. Uh, Avenger missiles, <laughs> auto cannon. Um, I guess shred and I don't know energy. Engines, pips. Not that much ammo in these. Okay. What the hell? This thing is huge. Armor weapons. Okay. Um, can I zoom in on it? I would like to have a look. I can. Uh. We're under fire! What, what do you expect? Brace for impact! Oh, the main... <laughs> Manticore AI core. Hello. Hello, AI. An aircraft is destroyed when its hull points drop to zero. Make sure to disengage before that happens. Alright. Okay, we did miss. Nomad launcher operational. Oh, it was charging them up. Ah, this is the charge. And that, but that does look like to be the uh, ammo. Return fire. Q. All right, okay. So it's within my Q range. To aim a weapon system, left click your weapon, then left click on the target icon. Ah. That's got some sort of acid blast. Sure. Oh, okay. Missiles away. Ow. Our aircraft has a defensive module. The afterburner makes us dodge any visually guided projectile, including the acid spit that this uh, spit used by this Pandora. Engage the afterburner. Okay. Uh, I can't see anything. Thank you. Oh, does this mean it's visually guided? Right. Points range, accuracy is 50%, 65%, acid damage, cool down 20 seconds, cool down 13 seconds, cool down 13 seconds. Visually guided though. Uh, am I going to have time? No, I'm not. Can I use my cannon? Wow. Oh, it's a heavy cannon. Uh, for some reason, I was assuming that that was... Oh, shock damage. Okay, yeah, that kind of that makes sense. Well, damage done to a disabled module is transferred directly to the hull. Let's finish this Pandoran monster. I... Well, I mean, okay. Rude. Nope. Uh, Q. I would like you to be aiming at its weapon system now. Just let's wipe out its weapons. No penalties to accuracy yet. Oh, we just straight up dodged that. Okay, uh, so just just to put this out there, do we really need to be so close that we could hit them with the sword? I'm saying might not be the best. Ow! My goodness. Right, eliminate. Boarding, yes. Fly close, pilot. I wish to fight them with my sword. Exarchia uh, Dix. Our team has successfully reached the Manticore and managed to escape the raided haven below. 
The machine is fully operational and heavily armed. We owe no small part of the success to the St. Adrian pilot, by the name of Eileen, who fully cooperated with our team and showed exceptional flying skills. Thanks to her, our new manticore reached its destination in one piece. As a token of gratitude for defending her haven, she volunteered to join the ranks of Phoenix as a proper squad member. It would be foolish to refuse a capable and motivated uh, cadre such as Eileen. Okay. As soon as we reached the base, we received alarming news. The alien entity known as Mount Egg has erupted. Erupted? Like, love? What? Causing massive seismic activity and heavy, heavily damaging the surrounding area. A monstrous Prandoran creature has emerged from the shattered shell. Its gargantuan size is unlike anything we've ever encountered. Many havens report riots and inner mayhem. Currently, no authority seems to be able to control the masses or calm the panic caused by the hatchling. Uh... I'm getting images of like the later, the the most recent like mist movie, and the creature right at the end, just this towering, massive kaiju. Uh, apparently, I was not mistaken. What the? Is it a flying or is it walking? Because if it's flying, it's not. It's not actually. No, I. Th I think it's walking. Oh my god. Currently moving at sixty kilometers an hour. Okay. Okay. And do be noted. Yeah. Do be noted. Also. <gasps> Such coolness. Okay, so, Citizen Eileen. <laughs> That's literally your name. What's your name? Citizen Eileen. What's your, what's your surname? No, Eileen. What, what's your first name? Citizen. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I, I guess I, I saw that coming. Sniper too. Very nice. Uh, however, look chat, we've got naming games just sat there. It's time for us to find out what Citizen Eileen's name is going to be. No, before we do that, Citizen Eileen, I require that you, uh, I'm going to pop these down here for now. Because I would very much like to know what the Zanedrian sniper rifle is. And they are so good. Can I... Oh, am I not able to research it? Yes, we can! Woo! This is perfect! I must... Oh, wait, no, no, we can't. I'm sorry. I was, I was very happy for a moment. It was a very short-lived moment. Nevertheless, let's get those reverse-engineered. Uh, Murbidon Autopsy, let's get you done. Also, Phoenix Aerial Combat Program, the attacks of the Behemoth and the lesser flying Pandorans require immediate retaliation. We need to mobilize an arm of our Manticore squadron and prepare it for aerial combat. I agree. More or less. Okay, so Citizen Eileen, you don't, in fact, need to hand over all your stuff. Uh, you can pop these back on. Let's have a quick look at this, though. Perception plus 7, Stealth plus 5, Accuracy plus 10, Armor 14. What is ours? Armor 14, Perception plus 5, so it's a little bit less good. I think that may just be a flat upgrade. It is a flat upgrade. I'm going to assume that that's true of all of this. Accuracy Stealth, minus 1 on speed. 18 there. Oh, it's a little bit less good, but it is more stealthy, it seems. Much more, twice as stealthy, actually. I could make some pretty capable scouts. And I assume that this is going to be the same. 14 armor, stealth, like massive amounts of stealth. So our stealth here is 14%, accuracy is 16, and perception is 40. 42, 20, and 25% stealth. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, let's give you a sniper weapon, though. 
And can I actually make the ammo for that? No, I can't. Um, so I can have that. But we will be needing a new name. However, we're going to be going on a tea break. Because it's been four hours since I started the stream. Three hours, you know, since the... Uh, since... <laughs> We actually started playing the game. Shut up, chat. And I think, yeah, sure. We'll we'll uh, we'll do the raffle over the tea break. You'll lose some entry and stuff if you take it off. That's how stealthy they are. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. But it's time for a tea break, so this is your opportunity to get up, stretch your legs, wander around a little bit. Oh my god, I can augment you. I didn't even think about that. Why would I want to augment you with with awful stealth? No. No, that goes against everything that you, you stand for. Uh, nevertheless, interesting options. But we're going to go on tea break. Get up, move around a little bit, go grab yourselves a drink. Though before you do, Hang tight. I will pop the keyword in chat that you need to pop in to get a part of the raffle. We will see who Citizen Eileen becomes. See you in a few minutes. The reason why not Citizen Elmir leave in, by the way, it's Elmir, uh, for those in the VODs who just come back, is because I'm not sure how it's going to separate them. It might literally be Citizen on the, the troop screen. So no. This is an outrage. All right, then, chat. I tell you what. If you can defeat uh, Leafin in an arm wrestle, I will name them Citizen Elmia. It's got to be in real life, though. I need video evidence. Ride in the streets. No, don't, don't ride in the streets. Thank you, Lady Shelab. The argument is fair, Avak, and I will not, I will, and I do not like it, I, I mean, yeah. That's why I don't want to try and give him uh, multiple names. Uh, that being said, let's have a look. Oh, uh, well, actually, Chaos Dragon, we do actually have Chaos Dragon, so... Whilst the others have all been, because I'm fairly certain it is Chaos Dragon, isn't it? Alright. Okay, if you want it to be Citizen... Uh, Almir, that's going to be two separate names, though, so I'm going to need another name in game. Clear it off. I'm not stealing any gerbs today. Well done, Demi Vdur. But there we are. Citizen Eileen. Uh, El Eileen. Elmir. There you go. Done and done and done. Now. We need a new name. Damn it. Weapons, modules, manufacture. Can we manufacture weapons? No, we can manufacture a manticore, but we can't manufacture weapons. Unless... No, we can't. But we're going to need a new name. For the gift. So, and since we've already got a, a bunch of name lists... Boom! Zenzi Aurora. You know what? I, I would totally just go with Aurora, but we'll go with the full name. Zenzi Aurora. It is. There we are. Sky Beast. That would be truly amazing. True. Beatbox. No. Ah. Sky Beast would have been glorious. If only Bilal had won the won the roll. But no. Right, okay. So with all of that in place, we've got nine hours on mutagen harvesting. We've got the containment facility one day in 18 hours. Oh, craptastic. Okay. Are they under attack? No, they're just covered. That's all. 
facility under construction. They are constructing an elite training. Why? What is what? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, my friends! Oh. Well, it was nice knowing you. So why is Mothra angry? Um, Mothra just got born. I'm sure you were angry after you just got born too. Uh, this is the marketplace. Hello. Uh, reinforced cut. What? Phoenix scarab hull upgrade. Infantry slots plus six. Reinforced caterpillar tracks. Allows the scarab to run over worms, mine fraggers, and myrmidons. Advanced engine mapping module. Phoenix scarab engine upgrade. All of these are stupidly, stupidly expensive. Carbon fiber plating. Redemptor. It's a chaos shotgun. Scorpio, Phoenix Scarab missile turret. Obliterator. Okay, it's assault weapon. Uh, I could also take another new marketplace offers, lower marketplace prices. Mm, I could accept that mission. Alternatively, we could do a number of other missions, like this one, which we do need to do. We've also got that mission. Saving Helena. Oh my lord, there's so many things I need to do. Uh, experiments continue. I don't really want to have to deal with that. I'm going to be honest, but nevertheless, I suspect I'm going to have to. How are we doing? And sadly, we are, we are going down with... Tobias West, and there doesn't seem to be much we can do about that. Um, do you know what we can... I think it's going to attack, but I can't really tell how I could stop that. Now let's have a look at our personnel. Citizen Almir, I think for now, we've already got Camel Spider here, so I, I'm terribly sorry to say, but oh no. Can I not? Oh crap. I think we ultimately want to get rid of this. Data Crater is there. We're building an alien containment. I could go ahead and build two training facilities. Maybe even three. And then anyone fielded at this base. But I need to move some personnel around. Let's get Citizen Elmia down here. Oh, there we are. Okay, mutagens can be harvested from captured Pandorans in the containment facility. We discovered that a certain tissue sample retained the ability to mutate. The discovery was made when a test subject accidentally had a mutated sample injected into them. So explain again how this ha accidentally happened. The error was discovered too late, but scientists observed the results and found that Pandorans have a set of cells derived from the original Pandora virus infection that have unique properties. We call these mutagens. They were the same cells the disciples of Anu use in rituals to evolve closer to the exalted. Since the discovery, the process has been refined, allowing 70% of the creature's mutagens to be extracted during a lab procedure. For the harvesting to be successful, the specimen needs to be alive during the process. Lab safety means nothing! Yeah, indeed. 
Do you really think the answers we need as a species lie in Pandoran biology? In plundering the invaders for their mutagens? The disciples believe that humans need to evolve, to mutate. But don't you see the inherent misanthropy of this philosophy? Blaming humanity for what was done to it by an alien aggressor? The very premise is profoundly unethical. If we start telling ourselves that we need the Pandorans in order to improve ourselves, how are we any better than the collaborator who tells himself the enemy will make things better in the long run? Interesting viewpoint. Trivenix, thank you thank you very much for the 27 months there at Jochen Welt. We do what we must to survive. Recognizing humanity's biological flaws is not misanthropy. This is none of New Jericho's... I mean, look, okay. You can worship your body as a temple. I'm not I'm not going to tell you you have to stop, but <laughs> mine is just a tool. And if the tool can be made better... Not only is it misanthropy, it is also a denial of human agency, of our ability to make choices. At best, it's a way of distracting from failures of the will. At worst, it's outright treason against our species. Wow. Angry Elon is angry. <laughs> well, angry Elon? Oh, my Lord. Uh, I'm very concerned about this. All right, six pe people are over here. Uh, personnel. Citizen Eileen, I need you to go to Tater Crater. Mammal Spider 2. Thankfully, I'm fairly certain I can just unequip them if I need to for any reason. Alright, let's get back to the main base. Also on the way. Create a little bit of food, or a lot of food, for some extra resources. Trade. Thank you. Additionally, how are things standing? 15, 13, and minus 13. Yeah. Why is it that we seem to be on the... It seems so hard to be friends with New Jericho. I am very concerned about this. A New Jericho Haven is under attack. Uh, okay. So many of them are about to be. I mean, this would improve their relationship with us, to be fair. Right, hop on, hop on, until I've got a second, I'm so, so gutted about that. I would have loved to have had more. An assault with close quarter specialists, sniperists and resourceful. Oh, I see. Also, look at that beard and hairstyle. Uh, sure, I will recruit you. Yes. But... Tata Crater, I now very much need a training facility. And we're going to build another one as well. Because each one of these gives two experience points per hour for each training facility at the base. So we could have three of them and six experience points an hour. I mean, you know, it's it's an okay place to put low bees while I'm out on, on more important missions. Ultimately, I want the low bees with us, but I could have a base that will be useful for that. These require three power, sadly. I don't think anything else is going to be able to fit in here. Yeah, everything else requires three power. A sadness, but there we are. Produces research. Oh, right, okay, that's cool. We'll see what else we have to do down here. I might need special buildings for the containment facility. I don't know. Right. In terms of our group on... Also, we've got Phoenix Transfer Point. I feel that we need to rename this, so we're going to draw another name. Actually, no. We're, this one is going to... Yeah, yeah, we're going to roll it. Malachi. Malachi. Can we get a naming game off the uh, naming game list? Malachi, 
What name do you want? Within reason, I will allow it. If it's something stupid, then I'm just going to roll someone else. Oh, well, I, if it's something too stupid, I'm going to re-roll something else. Citizen Malachite. We're not naming a base Citizen Malachite. Emperor Malachi. No! The Malachon. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. But Malachi needs to pick it. If Malachi is here. Is Malachi here? Or is Malachi run away? Leafin's Respite. Uh, it's not green enough. Also underground. Malachi 66. Malachi. Malachi, where are you? Uh, I have no idea. Um, okay. Let's see what I can do with that. Uh... There you go. You have no idea, therefore this base shall be known as the Unknown Archive. A repository for all things forgotten or never known at all. Malachai, that would have been funny. But sadly, that's not what Malachi said. Ah, uh, right. We can help one of you. When you're attacking, 10 versus 10, okay. Personnel. Let's get you properly equipped. I'm actually going to need to go to... Nubis, Chaos Dragon... Oh, no. Good. Be able to access them. Yes. However, it doesn't look... Oh, there we are. Tonk. Uh, you can have all of that, that's fine. Alright, we also need one more name. Oh my lord, we've got too many names. Right, this one we're going to do another roll for, though. So, the new keyword is going to be... Hashtag, too many names. Go, go, go. I'm going to roll this one very quickly. So you've got mere moments to put your name in the hat. Uh, but while all that's going on, I will go through and re-equip. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give you just back your regular gear. Actually, you can have uh, the Golem Helmet. That's absolutely something you can wear. Gives you minus four on accuracy, but, you know, you've, you're still pr plenty stealthy with that, at least. Brithnoth, Golem Armor, Stealthy Face. Happiest of days. Where is your... Grenade Launcher? There we are. Shield on your back. I think that's decent. Right, time to roll. And we've got Sander row 98. It'll be Sander. Maybe anyway, I enjoy. Have a gun. Also have a grenade. Also have a medkit. Also have some armor. Perfect. What a fine figure of a soldier you are. Oh. Camel spider does not have armor. Uh, it's fine. You don't need your legs. I do need to make a lot more armor, though. Right, Brithnoth, grenade launcher, or more ammo as well. Bit 
Pistol is your sidearm, so that's fine. Okay, you, you're good. Let's just make sure that everyone is equipped. I am tempted to augment quite a lot of people, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Anubis, I'm going to say that I actually really would like you to pick up Warcry. I feel that's going to be a pretty solid choice for you. Also, you can have a grenade. There we are. <laughs> Who's going to redeem that name from the list thing? Leafin. I know, right, Bilal? I have it open, but I worry someone else will. I think Bilal should go to bed. Aw. Good night, Bilal. I hope you had fun with your uh, with your board game, buddy. Hey, Glodran. Has Arvik made any cybernetic soldiers? Yes. Much cyber. Very netic. You have a good sleep, buddy. Right, okay. Time for us to make our move. Well, there's low stamina, but it's not actually low enough to be an issue. Move. Research complete. So, about that. Let's have a look at the sniper rifles side by side. So, the Firebird is just straight up better than the other one. 120, 110. Effective range is much further. Action points are the same. Ammo capacity is much higher. Otherwise the same. Okay. So it is just a better version. And yet it costs less... Well, it costs more tech, but less materials. Yeah, the, the squeeze on the materials and also the, the ammo for it. Well... Citizen Elmia, since you're not going anywhere... Oh, you've got that. Have I gotten that back? Did I get it back? I did not. That's a shame. Alright, I'm going to have to make one then. Uh, let's get one, and we'll see what we can do. Scarab is done in seven hours. It's fine. I do have a lack of honeycombs, it's true. Okay, this would be a big help for our overall um, standing with Jericho. We're quite in the negative, but this would pull that back a fair bit. Uh, they have... And that the leader... Oh, good lord, that thing looks terrifying. I've only just noticed it. What the heck? Intervene to eliminate the threat, protecting the Haven's key structures. If you are successful, you will receive a reward from the Haven. Uh, well, I do quite badly need that, so. Echo419OP, thank you very much for the resub there, for the 15th month. Citizen Elmir is doing their citizen duties and cooking dinner for when they get home. That's very nice. All items on the battlefield will automatically be recovered after the mission. Alright. Let's get in there. In scavenging missions, your goal is to collect resource packs from crates and escape to the, from the map. Don't take too many risks. It's fair. Also, this cup of tea is gigantic and delicious. Citizen Elmia has a thirst for violence, not a thirst for soup. Much sad. What about violent soup? How about that? How about Citizen El uh, Elmia... 
you know, kind of pulls a Rorschach and, you know, just like splashes hot cooking oil over someone's face. Only in this case, boiling hot soup. Right, we've got a lot of peeps of rat. Oh, good lord. That's a regular unit now? Oh, God. I disapprove on such a level. That's cool, though. Whatever that is. Alright, gotta protect all of these things inside, right here. Uh, you're not going to be that useful jumping into this fight, sadly. I'm very sad about that, actually. Ready. Uh, I want you to go and activate this soldier. I would say get up there, but the, honestly, that thing can just jump up there anyway, so I'm not sure that would really help me. Would have sight on it from there. Let's move in. I want to move everyone else first. I am concerned about the outcome of this battle, it would be a massive, massive understatement. Let's have a look at you. Now, here's a question. If I was controlling someone like this and I caused them to drop their stuff on the ground... You know, because it says stuff on the floor gets picked up after battle. Hmm? 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 Oh, I can't I can't go into their inventory. Damn it. Okay, they've they've thought about it. They're on to me. It's vexing. Oh crap. Alright, duly noted. However, you are significantly higher of a threat. What I would love is to drop a grenade over here and on them. Hit every part of them at once. Yep. Oh, we need to make sure it doesn't hit anything else on the arc. Because that happens way too often. Sprite. Nice shot. Very nice shot there. Let's have a look at you. Movement is still 24 of 24. Uh, corruptive attack. Right, no armor left on the head, which is glorious, because I need to take that off. Um, no armor left on the leg. All right, that might actually be good. And I can still pull off another attack like that. Can I get a, a sight? Disables call reinforcements if I can take it out. Removability leap. There we are. It can't summon more. So we have dropped its ability to just keep pouring more e enemies on us. That's a big thing. That is a big, big achievement there. Uh, could I charge over there? Mm, I don't like that. Your movement range is 16 tiles. Two, three, four. Well, actually, is it? 16 versus 16, yeah. So at full movement, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, somewhere around here. And that'll be split into four actions, I should imagine. I should imagine it would be split into four actions. So, as long as I'm about here, they're not going to be able to reach me and attack, I don't think. Not with a... because they would have had to have used up all of their movement. Uh, all of their potential action points for attacking, doing that. Rolling out! There, there! Where, where? Okay, that's the second one. Okay. Need to use my snipers to get in close and have a good peek at them. Come get some. You are a significant concern because you are very tanky. Let's take that leg out though, shall we? I could take the torso. I could possibly take the head, but I might clip the armor there. We go for the pincer, but well, I mean, I would take the pincer off, but let's go for the leg. Oh, I am not used to you missing. Awful, embarrassing for a sniper to miss a shot like that. Dreadful. Uh, we could hit you again, and you are actually a big enough concern that I really, really, really want to take you out. Uh, let's go ahead. Yes. Another grenade. The last one hit everything at the front. If I could drop the next one behind it, to the side. Let's see if I can drop it right underneath it and hit everything in one go. Oh, I forgot to check. That's on me. That was silly. Taking aim. Uh, sure. Just center of mass. Up. Uh, right. Well, I don't want to get too close because they will be able to get up to me. Will points 15, will points 20. Let's just move closer. I will get into melee with them in a moment. I am not going to go into melee with the... Uh, big boy. Because that corrupts. Preparing to fire. Head, go for the legs. I haven't got a good shot regardless, but... Guess I could continue hitting the body, but let's go for the legs. Okay, we've damaged both legs a little bit now. Uh, I really would like to take out their ability to leap. Disable the leg. I don't know if I have to disable all of them to remove their ability to leap. But it is possible that that would be the case. Uh, let's get out of the way of a potential counterattack. Because it's got a long movement. Let's draw back. Pushing on. And I think you can go into Overwatch still. Holding position. You cannot. Ready it's not. Do you have a pistol ready? You do. Good. Alright, I wanted to see how far you can move. Your movement has been dropped to 18. You are bleeding at 20. That's not what happens. Now you're gonna... Ha oh, there's a new Jericho sniper. Nice. There are more Pandorans on the move. My sniper has stopped. No longer remembers how to snipe. 
It's very sad. It's extremely awkward. Oh, crap. Unfortunately, they're going for my soldier there. Disapprove! Where's it gonna land? Nice attempt, though. That was the worst person to attack there. Also then. Main thing is, our goal here, other than survival, that's actually a secondary goal, is simply to stop them from breaking stuff. What's the maximum amount of troops you can deploy on an average mission? Uh, I think the maximum is eight, but our ship can only accommodate six currently, which is why we're only bringing six. But I believe the maximum is eight. Right, at this range, I can probably pull off a uh, shotgun attack. One has to worry about. Five will points, minus five will points. We just hit them all with a bit of uh, the fear there. 